Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be over The Walking Dead, Fear of the Walking Dead, Season 8B. Uh, I wanted to do this video quite some time ago when this first little bit of these uh, sneak peeks came out, but I just didn't really have the chance. But uh, here lately, just with things being the way they are in Hollywood and just everything being kind of a mess right now, I wanted to dive into the little bit of the sneak peeks that we got with that season 8b kind of discussion or whatever video that they released about a month ago and i kind of wanted to go into what i think could happen what the big kind of build up they're doing with the possible return of troy and just everything that we're seeing from this little bit that we got what's really the show could end up doing who they might bring back because there's also a uh, little bit of tease there at towards the last few episodes of uh, the beginning of the season where we saw Alicia's prosthetic arm being put into a bag and just could they possibly bring her back? Could she still be alive or is this just some big tease to reveal that she has died due to the bite that she suffered and we saw her up and down as far as being uh, what condition she was in and everything during that time? in season seven which a lot of people didn't like uh but i mean that can be said about all of the walking dead shows there are seasons that are just really hard to watch and this one so far it's been okay i liked how they wrapped it up that first part where we got morgan going back to the roots going back to the beginning and then the further tease of hey he's gonna go he's gonna go look for rick and which I thought was really awesome. Whether or not he follows through and we see him again still has yet to be seen or yet to be revealed. But getting into that little bit that we got from the release that they did about a month ago, I wanted to kind of go into it somewhat frame by frame. There's some stuff I'm going to kind of skim over and everything. But uh, anyways, the trailer or the bit kind of opens up. We kind of see flashes of different things. Like uh, the first little bit is we see that truck get flipped up in the air. Not really sure who's in there, what that has to do with a whole lot, or where that truck's going and everything. And then we get some other little bits. But the f kind of the main ones that I really wanted to dive into was we see this shot of Madison completely losing her shit, going at someone with this hammer that is pulled out of a bag. Now, the bag and the hammer, very familiar. They're from that last bit of season 8A that we saw, where this mystery person who is just off camera uh, taking down the coordinates that Madison is putting out there over that radio frequency, where anybody can hear it, anybody that's lost a child and whatnot, come look for your kid. They might be here. And so this person is taking down these notes, and they're loading different things into a bag. They have a map that from what I remember, she kind of shows the outline of Mexico and around the general area where that dam exploded at the end of season three, lending further to the theory that this is Troy. He's taking down these notes. He's coming after Madison for what she did to him. And then we see a pair of sunglasses. People are saying those sunglasses are Victor's. And then we see the prosthetic arm, which is, of course, Alicia's arm that's her, that she had to cut off and she made this new prosthetic from her existing arm after she was bitten as a way to fight the infection, but we're not real sure what what, what came of her, if she even survived, if she died, if Troy has her. There, there's a lot of things floating around out there. But we see in the shot, she is going after this person because she knows them. She already has an existing past with them. She wants to go after this person, and she is ready to slip she is ready to slam him with the hammer again if it does happen to be Troy. And the big kind of theory out there that it is, of course, that he is back and he's back for what reasons we don't know yet. And maybe it's simple revenge. Maybe he has Alicia. There's just a lot of maybes, ifs, ands, and just different things floating around about what we could expect if this does happen to be Troy. And not only that, with this uh, kind of lending to more theories and whatnot out there, the idea is that Troy is going to come back he's going to be blinded in that left eye from where she took the hammer to him at the end of season three and a lot of people kind of there's a mixed bag like I'm excited for Troy to come back I like that the actor that plays him Daniel Sharman I've liked him and other things that I've watched him in I think he's a great actor and just the range of uh talent that he has and everything but not only that to kind of what what I mean, what I've noticed with the other shows is they're kind of dipping back into the past to bring back certain characters. 
Like I mentioned with Morgan, going back and looking for Rick and the other shows could lead to that as well. But a lot of people just, they don't see how he could be alive. And I'm kind of in that party too where we see this dude take two to the dome with a hammer and then supposedly die in an exploding dam where he should have drowned. But it's all kind of, it's in the hands of the writers and everything whenever they get back to work that you know, they're going to hopefully have a good expla explanation for why he's even alive. But moving on. The next shot is kind of this group shot, and we see Strand. We see Victor Strand. We have not seen him in the first half. There he is, rocking the long hair. Not real sure what his state of mind is because he went through the whole dictator thing that he did last season, and now he seems to be real mellow, just kind of doing his thing, but also following this mystery character that Madison wants to kill. So, And apparently he's going by a different name as well. So there's still a lot of uncertainty of what he's been up to, where his mind's at, what his intentions are and everything, because we kind of get a little sneak of his intentions further down in this little bit of footage that we got. And then, of course, kind of even teasing it even more, we get a snap back to season three of that supposed death scene with Troy. Madison blasts him across the dome with a hammer two times, and then he rolls down the hill. We get that shot where it looks like he's he's pretty dead. He's very much dead. Just a gaping hole almost in the side of his head. And I think part of his ears hanging off. It's just a really kind of gruesome looking thing. But somehow they will explain it away if this happens to be him that's returning. I hope it is, but I can understand why people are like, what the fuck? Why is this happening? Why is he back? But anyways, moving on again. We get a shot of Madison. She's kind of in a daze. And she looks out this window where she sees this walker, and I, I assume this is where she kind of thinks, hey, this could be Alicia, or she's just thinking about Alicia. Something came up that made her think maybe there was some reveal when Troy was brought on that Alicia is alive, or he knows where she's at, or maybe he revealed to her that she's dead. So who knows what that's going on. And then here's where I'm really kind of super interested, because we last left off with Dwight and Sherry, they were calling it quits after the death of their son because we had the whole thing with Padre where uh, he was bitten by force and they had to watch him die. He got better for a short time due to the radiation treatment that they were experimenting with and then they had to watch him die. And just that was kind of the final straw for their relationship where Dwight said he basically just can't do it anymore he can't sit there and force this relationship that's obviously not working for either of them anymore so he says he's gonna go home and this is where i think it gets interesting because he's back in the sanctuary this is obviously the sanctuary they're back around alexandria in that general area but he points to a symbol on the wall it's the infinity symbol where he believed that him and sherry would always be together they'd always find their way back to each other they'd always work through their problems and everything so this is kind of one, another one of those instances where I'm really excited that they're dipping back into the past and we could see this could be a road to lead a lot of characters back to each other within other spinoffs. So I'm hoping that this is not the last we're going to see of Dwight and Sherry, or at least Dwight. Sherry still might go off and do her own thing, depending whether or not they actually stick to what they said and they're going to stay split up. But we have yet to see that. And so I'm just, I'm really excited about that aspect of it, that we see them return back to what is so close to Alexandria and where the war took place and all of that. Here we see Victor trying to comfort Madison. Now she's saying that she could have done better, could have done more, to, and they would still be there, referring to Nick and Alicia. Well, we all know Nick is gone. He's been gone, but we're still uncertain about where the fate of Alicia lies and maybe this is where she finds out that they're both dead or maybe they simply just don't know and just Madison's just filled with this regret. So I'm hoping, so I'm actually hoping that Alicia makes a comeback, that she is still alive. Now a lot of people not might not want this or it wouldn't make sense, but then again, this, you know, what does make sense in this world? They can kind of still do what they want and go back to that old rule that you're not gone unless you're gone. And so that was kind of what they used to bring back Madison because we didn't see her die. We didn't see Alicia die. So who knows? She could come back and 
maybe she's back to normal health. Maybe that little bit that we saw at the end of season seven where she just suddenly okay. And maybe it could be the case here where she's just out there somewhere and she's just assumed dead. And getting into this shot with Dwight, um, I kind of think this could be the very same oven or furnace or whatever within the sanctuary where Negan tortured so many people, including Dwight, by hitting them with the iron that he would use to punish people or what have you. And Dwight's just kind of maybe lost in thought, kind of reflecting back to that time where the sanctuary was in full swing and the PTSD that he has from not only being burned with this iron, but the whole experience of being under Negan's thumb and under his rule where he had to do horrible things and just, I, I feel like this could be him reflecting back on that amongst other things. Well, we see some frozen walkers here. So we're going to, obviously this is probably back in the Virginia area or somewhere close to it where they can still kind of experience traditional winters. Whereas in Texas and everything, you're not really going to see that a whole lot. So this could be following more of Dwight and Sherry or maybe uh, our other characters kind of make it this direction. We're not sure yet. And here's another kind of thing. This is Victor. There is a shot where he is sabotaging a boat. He's ripping the electrical panel and uh, either he's going to sink it or just cause it to catch fire or what have you. But something I kind of noticed right there in the back where it looks like there's another boat that sank or just maybe a small lifeboat. But it looks like this is not the first boat that Strand has sabotaged. And he goes on to say in this very last shot that he wants these kids to help him save Padre. What he means by that, we don't know. I think there's a lot of different things to be said about what he really means by that. Because if he's sabotaging boats and everything, is he trying to keep people away from Padre? Is he trying to keep people from leaving Padre? There's just We're still unsure about where his head is at. Is he still kind of uh, wanting to tell people what to do, kind of thinking he knows what's best and just... He has been an unstable character for quite some time, and just we don't know what direction they're going to take him in these remaining six episodes. But uh, there you go. That's kind of the breakdown, The my thoughts about it. Uh, premiering the last bit on October 22nd. I'm really excited for it. I have enjoyed the season a little bit more, but it is probably due to some of the callbacks that we've seen, like uh, Morgan going back to King County and whatnot and confronting his past and putting his son to rest and his wife to rest and everything. So it's interesting to see all that. And you know, I I hope that they do it right, obviously. I hope that they bring this show to a close. There is a lot of theories, once again, that we could see some of these characters in other spinoffs. And I'm hoping that's true. Particularly, I think, if... Alicia comes back. I think her and Madison should make an appearance maybe in, well, maybe in, uh, well, I don't know how that would work, honestly. Maybe they just reunite at the end of Fear the Walking Dead and they get their happy ending and they go off and do their thing. But uh, one character I would like to see crossover would be Dwight. To see him return to Alexandria, maybe. And maybe him and Daryl can kind of make amends, or not really make amends, but bury the hatchet. Because we know that Daryl told him if he ever comes back, he's going to kill him. But, you know, so many years have gone by. Maybe Daryl, whenever he makes it back home, however long they plan to do his series, and how they plan to close out Rick and Michonne, because we're all hoping that basically everyone comes home. Everyone's back in Alexandria, or back in Commonwealth, or whatever it is. Me, personally, I hope it's Alexandria. It would just make the most sense. But uh, anyways, guys, I think that will do it. That is my breakdown and kind of my thoughts and my hopes for the last of the Fear the Walking Dead. Hoping they close it out right. Maybe some of these characters can move on to other shows and we can get some further spinoffs. There's already the talk of those. I will cover those in another video. But uh, I think that'll do it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Leave your comments. I want to know what you guys have to say. And as always, if you feel so inclined, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you later. Bye.